Right. So what is the next steps? Supposing the trial works well. So when will the trial actually, it's, it's, when, when do you expect the trial to finish? Because each trial is, is a year, right? But you're rolling, yeah. but you have rolling engagement. So it's going to be exactly. more than a year, right? Exactly. Exactly. I'm afraid this trial is going to go on for probably a few years uh, unless we really ramp up the, uh, the enrollment rate, which we may do later on when we're a little bit uh, better equipped to handle it. Uh, but, you know, we've, been, we've enrolled only about a quarter of the people we'd like to enroll in the trial. So that gives you some idea. Uh, we've been at the trial for the, the leading edge. The, the, the first people in the trial are out to about the seven or eight uh, month mark at this point. Uh, so, you know, they'll be finishing up pretty soon, but we have other people who are about to enter the trial who haven't even started yet. So it's going to it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Uh, we'll have to see what we can do about getting interim results uh, so we can sort of get a, a sense of how we're doing before we complete the whole thing. Uh, but uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. Right. So it, assuming it goes well and it, it's finished. Um, so what, what are the next steps? I mean, how can, how can we do you have plans to make this more this commercially available? Sure. Uh, yeah, we do. So, I mean, that's certainly the goal. And uh I think the, the biggest uh, question about that, uh, you know, there's several steps we want to take uh, to polish it up and smooth it out and, and, you know, make sure it's as efficient and, and affordable as possible. But beyond all of that, uh, we have to, you know, have a conversation with the FDA about how they feel about it, what they will require. Uh, you know, typically um, the FDA requires a lot of uh, time and money uh, to get something onto the market, but we're hoping that we might be an exception because for two reasons. One, uh, DHA metformin and uh, 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 growth hormone are not scary to the FDA. Mm. The FDA is quite familiar with these things. They're well studied. They're well known. Uh, they're not really um, a source of safety concerns. And in terms of efficacy, if we prove our efficacy, then I think we have our case closed. Uh, and the second thing is in terms of efficacy, if the FDA will grant us approval, for example, uh, for an indication of preventing renal failure, you know, for the prevention of renal failure, uh, or even for the improvement of renal function, uh, or for the improvement of certain other things that we can measure uh, pretty robustly on small numbers of people uh, in fairly short amount of time, uh, we should be able to confirm with the FDA that our efficacy is there uh, uh, with relatively uh, little muss and fuss. So, so hopefully if the FDA uh, can be uh, 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 able to you know, see it's quite clear to, to, to seeing it the same way we do, then um, I, I think we could have a relatively quick path to market, in which case then we can, uh, we can be out there helping people uh, very quickly compared to most things. <laughs> Yes, I, that's the one thing I, or that is a thing that I really like about the protocol, that, uh, because a lot of the others, like the gene therapy, uh, they are very new and cutting edge. But it's three, three products that are that have well known safety. Uh, yeah, and yeah, so, yeah, exactly. It's a different animal. It's a different kind of approach, and uh, so uh, you know. Uh, it, it's, it, it looks different to investors and, and that sort of thing. But now that we're beginning to show that it works and that people are interested in it and will pay for it, you know, I think uh, the investment uh, attractiveness is beginning to become more clear. So we will see. And if we can get some investment money and, and, uh, and uh, accelerate uh, the development of this as a clinical modality, then I, I think we can really invade the, the marketplace pretty quickly. Right. And so kind of how, how can people help on that um, in terms of investment or uh, are you looking for investment at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. We don't need a vast amount of cash at the moment, but, but we are looking for investment. Uh, and so the way to, to proceed on that would just be to contact us and, and we'll give you uh, more information about the investment structure and, uh, and the investors can sort of evaluate it and decide, decide what they think. Uh, we're, we actually are using a safe investment uh, mechanism right now. Uh, I forgot what it stands for. It's like simple agreement for something or other okay, equity. Yeah, yeah but um, 
I, think, I guess that's what it is. Uh, uh, yeah. But, you know, maybe other mechanisms are even possible if, if for some reason you don't like that. So, you know, uh, but we have we have raised some money uh, on the safe mechanism. We prefer to continue uh, to do it that way in the short run, at least. OK, I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.